What is up YouTube, Raider Nation 2014 here, I got another video for you guys, episode number 45 of my Madden 15 Ultimate Team Series, and we are here in week 3 of season 7, and we look at this dude's team, and the first thing I saw was John Elway, and this is a card I've always wanted, I've wanted a John Elway, so now we get to play him one-on-one, -on -one. we'll get to see how good Mr. Elway is, and so, he's also using the Raiders jersey, so I respect that, fellow Raiders fan, hashtag Raider Nation for life, even though we're having a rough season, I see some bright things. So I'm going to give this guy some props for being a Raiders fan, but we still got to dominate him. Amon Green starting off pretty good. Amon Green picks up a nice block right there as we chuck it deep to Mike Evans, and he cannot come up with the ball. It's overthrown by Derek Carr. Third and 11, throw into triple coverage. I don't know why, and we have to punt the ball. So now my opponent is on offense. Like I said, John Elway, Mike Ditka, some of the notables, along with Demarius Thomas, I think Jamal Charles, but he's got a really good team. So we got to watch out for all these players. He punts us the ball back. And we're going to come back on the field with Derek Carr, making a lot of moves, getting the first down, fighting for those 12 yards, handing the ball off to Amon Green on the strong power. Spin that dude out, break another tackle, and we get inside the 10-yard line, injuring one of the players trying to tackle him. Second and goal across the field, slant round to Mike Evans for the touchdown. Touchdown Raiders, the better Raiders, which is me. Now my opponent comes on offense, the away Raiders, and finds Demarius Thomas over the middle. John Elway completing that pass nicely. First and ten again, spinning out of bounds is Mackey. Third and seven, can we get another crucial stop and force a punt? No, he breaks the zones apart, breaks the linebacker safety zone combo apart, and finds the completion there right in the little hole. And again, right in the hole of the zone, finds another completion to Semi Watkins. Down inside my territory, inside my red zone, getting the touchdown with DeMarco Murray. And now we're back on offense, and we're starting off with that option again, but Derek Carr gets absolutely cracked on the play. I do not know how he stood up after that one. And now we're going to hand it to Amon Green, because he can take hits better, and he's launching Keekly across the field. Nice job by Amon Green, even though he didn't gain very many yards. Still a very nice play. Third and two, we throw an incomplete pass. Not a good read, should have hit Delaney Walker, but we're going to go for it. And we hit Delaney Walker this time for the first down. So we get to move the chains, and we're going to try and get in the end zone, because we know if my opponent's got this great offense, and apparently defense with J.J. Watt, we cannot let John Elway see the field and lead his team down there. Third and long, we're going to chuck it up to Julio Jones, who makes a one-handed snag over Prince Amukamara, and we are inside his red zone, throwing a screen to Mr. Julio Jones, who cannot get any yards as we hit the two-minute warning. This game is very laggy. It is not your computers, guys. My connection, my internet connection has been pretty ass recently, is what I gotta say. And we're just managing to get these games. And this lag is awful. This lag was really irritating when I was trying to play this game and the next game. And look at this. Fade route. He ran commit. Mike Evans was wide open. And Derek Carr overthrows him. But we hit Mike Evans back on the slant route for the touchdown. That was a nice fade route. Nice call. I knew he would, you know, try and stop the run as we get the sack with Freeney, who is an absolute monster, by the way. Second and 20, throwing it. And DRC strips the ball as Dwight Freeney picks it up at the 10-yard line. We take over, trying to get a score before half. We are in the perfect position to do so. 32 seconds and two timeouts. We are in the perfect position to get more points before the half. Running with him on green. Getting stuffed, though, on second and goal. So third and goal comes up. We're trying to pick our play, but we do leave two clock on, and I don't notice seven, five, four, three, and then we call timeout with two seconds left. I felt like a dumbass. We went for it like another dumbass move by me, and incomplete pass to Mike Evans. I thought he was going to catch that slant. That really pissed me off. That really pissed me off, but this made me pretty happy. Interception by Charles. No, Rod Woodson. Roddleson getting the pick right out of the gate, right out of the second half. And then we run it down his throat with Amon Green for the touchdown. Touchdown, Oakland Raiders. 21-7 game. And my opponent quits. So that's that game. So we are now 2-1 and one on the season. Going into week four, looking for that third win. Look at my opponent's roster. He's got Calvin, Rob Gronkowski, Amon Green, J.J. Watt, Demarcus Ware, Thomas Davis, Luke Geekly, DRC, Pat P, Earl Thomas, Eric Berry, Stack Squad, high 90s, low, I mean low 90s, just 90s, out the ass from this guy, and he's got a very nice team, Aaron Rodgers as well, another card I've wanted to use, so we got two quarterbacks I'd really like to use in this game, so he's just got a really high power team, and we need to stop it, we need to be like last game, we can't let Elway, well in this case Rodgers, on the field, and Amon Green, who I have a really hard time winning against, I do not do well against Amon Green, that 97 one, he just runs all over me, as he is doing right here. 
just going down the field, handing off to Amon Green basically every single play, and just getting consistent yardage. This time decides to pass, hits up, I believe, Demarius Thomas for the first, no, it was Calvin, for the first down, first and 10, handing it off to Jamal Charles, who manages to get out of that mess, later to be hit stick by James Harrison, handing off to Green, who is not going to get the first down. Now third and three, we got everything locked up besides Calvin Johnson. Very tight window to throw the ball into, but Aaron Rodgers manages to squeeze it in, later handing it to Amon Green, who just barely does not get the first down and the touchdown, but now he does get the touchdown. So my opponent leads seven to nothing. We gotta get this drive music on. We gotta get this drive going. Derek Carr hitting Delaney Walker for a near first down. Second and short, handing it off to our Amon Green, who does not get very many yards. I am not very good at running the ball, but recently I've been doing pretty all right. So I'm going to continue that. And now we're going to use the option game again with Derek Carr. He's very good on the option. No one reads him. So he can get, you know, five, seven yards or whatever and, you know, move the chains for you. And Mike Evans does catch the ball there, but does go backwards. So fourth and inch is my man, Marcel Reese, coming in for that signature. Marcel Reese dive. It's first and ten here. We throw it. It is tipped in the air. Can someone go get it? Don't let this be picked. Marcel drops the ball, but at least it was not intercepted. Second and ten, handing off to Amon Green on the strong power with the spin move going inside, getting about six yards in the play. Third down here, Mike Evans on the slant. Way too easy if you're not pressing him tight. Second and twelve, Derek Carr on the play action. We love this pistol form, and we love Mike Evans giving him the ball near the 31-yard line. Second and ten with only 30 seconds left in the half. We're going deep to Mike Evans. Tight window again, DRC looking to ball hawk that, but to no avail as we hit Julio, but he drops the ball, and we did not need that. 17 seconds left, we hit Mike Evans on the slant, who will not drop the ball. Only once in this video has he dropped the ball on a pass like that. And my opponent, just before that, throws up a streak, and Calvin Johnson goes up with one hand and grabs it. But luckily, time ran out, so he did not get a field goal on the board. And we're going to try him deep, just like in the last video. But it is intercepted. And the lag persists. This really, this play in particular pissed me off, because it's been lagging all game. And I'm like, I'm just going to chuck it deep, try and get all the yards at once, and it did not happen. So that was just irritating. And then this capped it off. Him running this deep down the field to the 20 to the 16 or 17, actually the 18, and he is in our red zone looking to put up some points, possibly a touchdown, we bat that ball away, third and nine, Aaron Rodgers, can he get into the end zone, he is sacked by James Harrison, so he is forced to take a field goal, not forced, but he chooses to take his three points, smart move on his part, Derek Carr finding Delaney Walker short, you know, just so we don't get sacked there, so third and 12, we need a big gain, and we hit the seam again to DeAndre Hopkins, down to the 47-yard line on his side of the field. We're running another option with Derek Carr. Perfect blocks this time, so Derek Carr is able to take it inside the 30-yard line, approaching the end zone. And we're going to give the ball to Amon Green, who breaks a tackle and is going to keep going despite the lag. Keeps going. It's brought down there by Luke Keekley, but we're inside his 20-yard line. We're almost there to score, and Mike Evans on third and long is pushed in front of the marker. Fourth and two. Mike Evans is wide open. We throw the ball, hit him. And it's lagging like crazy, but Mike Evans manages to get down to the one. And Mr. One Yard Line is going to come in and help us out. Marcel Reese, signature Cell Reese die for the touchdown. 14-10 to 10 game here in Oakland. And now my opponent is on the field. We're looking to stop him, but he gets the completion right there to move the chains. Almost a sack there for Jadevian Clowney on the screen. Third and ten. Can we get a stop? And no, Gronk pushes forward onto our side of the field. Second and 15 for Aaron Rodgers, scanning and finds Gronk again. Actually, that's Jimmy Graham, I think. Two-minute warning hits. Third and six. He is looking deep, but the ball hawk, Charles Woodson, gets the interception on the play. And that will almost do it. We need one first down to win this game. But we get on offense, and mysteriously, he didn't call a timeout the whole time we were on offense. So we were able to run the clock out easily, and we get our win. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if this video gets, you know, 20 likes, I'll drop a special video for you guys tomorrow. If you're new to my channel, subscribe for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team content and, you know, Madden content in general. Again, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.